Hello guys, it's the Curious Glasses. Today, I'm going to help you tackle this spin-off project on Khan Academy, and it's coding, and it's called Spin-Off Project What's for Dinner. So, you've probably done a little bit of uh, coding before this on Khan Academy, and you've come to this project, and you need a little bit of help, or you need some tips because you don't know where to start. Well, that's what I'm here for today. Let's just take a look at what they already have here. So they have this plate, and usually it should be white on your screen, and I just made this plate blue. I simply just did that by adding a fill right here, a fill on top of the first ellipse. This is what I did right here. And um, then right here, I just added the white fill so that the entire plate is not blue, and it's just this one border, kind of. It's a border around the plate. So you can simply just do that, as I said, by adding a fill over the first ellipse. So I just did that really quick. And now let's actually get into the meal that we're going to make. Mm, I'm thinking breakfast. How about something simple like bacon and eggs? Let's first, let's make the egg white. Well, we know we're going to need, we're, we know we're going to need an ellipse. So let's just draw an ellipse. And this can be any random parameters. It doesn't really matter because we're just going to, um, we're going to edit that in the end. And this is what we have right now. And we're going to obviously get that on the plate. And I'm just going to type here egg white. So we know that that is the egg white. Now let's kind of move this X coordinate. So we know that it's kind of in position. Same thing with the y, y coordinate. So now it's in position. But it's not necessarily how an egg white would look like. So let's make it one. Well, we need it to be a little bit more wider um and more taller so yes that's much better but it's still not in position so let's move it so that it is actually in position all right there we go now our egg white as you can see it's pretty good and but it doesn't really look like an egg that's because we have to add add the egg yolk so we do that by just uh keeping the seven space because we're gonna add a fill later on and I'll show you and so let's just go ahead and add an, another ellipse so ellipse and again these are just random parameters actually what I'll do is I'll kind of do the same parameter so 133 204 but then like a different length and width and you see how this will help so now we have this ellipse kind of weird ellipse so let's go ahead and make it much smaller so that's better and that's much better yay we have our egg yolk and actually i forgot to type egg yolk yay we have our egg yolk the problem is that i'm just gonna kind of make it a little bit more like an egg yolk all right so we have our egg yolk the problem is we can't really tell it's an egg yolk because Usually, egg yolks are yellow, right? So, let's go ahead and make this egg yolk yellow. Let's just do a fill. Um, that's, we, obviously, we're not going to have a red egg yolk. We're going to have a yellow egg yolk. So, let's go ahead and make that yellow. There we go. Now, it looks like an egg. So, that's pretty good. So, now, let's make the bacon, right? Well, we can simply just make a simple bacon. It doesn't have really have to be like an actual bacon. We can just do something that looks like bacon, right? We can do that by the rec function. And again, these are just random parameters. Just completely random parameters. And you'll see why. Well, we don't want it to be yellow. We don't want our rec to be yellow. So let's make it like the bacon color. How about we make it... Um, how about we make our color... Say, I will make it a little bit brown, kind of not that brown, but like kind of a little bit darker brown. So I think bacon would be kind of this color. Yeah, something like that. You can change it if you want. So now let's actually make our bacon actually look like some sort of bacon or jerky. So let's go ahead and just make this longer and make this wider. 
and that's way too wide for a bacon so a little bit like this and let's kind of make this upwards all right so we have our first bacon but i'm sort of noticing that the color is weird so i'm gonna go ahead and change that color up let's go ahead and make it kind of an actual brown mm, yeah i think that's that that's a pretty good color for bacon it's a little bit blackish so i will kind of like right there mm. I don't know, I'll just leave it like that. I'll leave that up to you. You can change whatever color you like. Right now it's a sort of a grayish, weirdish color, so I'm just gonna make it a little bit more brown. There we go. All right, now it's okay. And let's make this a, just a little bit more skinnier. Position the Y correctly. All right, so now we have our first bacon, but obviously we're not gonna just eat one bacon with eggs. We need two. So we can just do this by just copying that and just pasting it right here, and then moving that X coordinate to the right. All right, that's our finished product. It's bacon and eggs, and it looks, it's actually pretty simple. So this is actually a very, this code is very, very simple to do. And I just did something simple, so you would have kind of something in mind to start with, or what you can do. Obviously don't copy this code, um, it's just something to help you start and I hope you learned something from this video and I hope that you continue with your journey through the Khan Academy coding and I would love to see your finished product if well if I could see it but thanks for watching and stay safe I'll see you in the next video bye bye